Hey there. I'm at Holmes Lake here in Lincoln. It's a pretty chilly day. Um, but I was thinking while I was running, that is the key here. If any of you know me, I would never claim to be a runner. Never been good at it. Never really enjoyed it like a lot of people who are runners do. Um, not efficient. I don't feel like my body's really made to run well. Um, but I just couldn't help but think as I was running and putting in that effort just to be active today outside, get some fresh air, about a lot of the conversations I've had with a lot of patients in the office recently. And that is this. I can either, either you know, never run, which would be the easy way out and be less healthy, less active, or in order to get better at running, I would obviously need to work at it. It takes repetition, frequency, diligence, and motivation. And a lot of the conversations lately in the office is, um, you know, how often do I need to get adjusted? How often do I need to get care? And the brutal, honest answer is more than you probably think. If you think about the stress in our lives and how wound up and uptight and stressed out most of us are. And again, don't just think stress as in work stress and family stress. That's one category of stress, physical stress, right? Um, emotional stress and then chemical stress. So the toxins that we're all around all day, every day in our body, on our body, food we're putting in, all those things compound on themselves and really, really affect the systems of our body. Specifically, what we focus on is the nervous system because it controls everything, right? Coordinates everything, every function of your body coordinated by the nervous system. So um, the reason we plan so diligently for you guys and oftentimes those plans of care are a longer period of times with more adjustments is because you can't get adjusted once and fix it. You can't get a massage once and fix anything. You can't have any therapy done. You can't eat one healthy meal. You can't exercise one day. It just doesn't work that way. And although that sometimes that's hard for us to wrap our heads around and grasp, um, especially anybody who saw me at Synergy are one of our, I guess, um, uh, claims to fame or things that we kind of marketed was, you know, seeing people less often, less frequently and, and helping and fixing you. And honestly, although some of the little aches and pains and acute strains, sprains, we can help, we could help quickly. That's true. True health and how you actually are functioning underneath the surface. We weren't touching. I wasn't touching, I should say. Um, and I think it was just kind of, uh, uh, something that I had to learn over the years and the experience I've had with a lot of you and with myself and with my own family is true health, true optimal function comes with a, a shift, a, a big shift, lifestyle changes potentially, but also just with the care that we can provide and that we do give via the powerful modality of adjusting um, can really change things if done frequently, diligently, um, with well and good intention. Um, so just some food for thought today. Um, give that some thought. A any questions, just holler out at me. dr.scott at thrivelincoln.com is my email. You can call the office, ask for me. I'm always willing to chat about things with you guys. Anybody who has any questions. We also have scheduled some talks coming up, some educational things where they're gonna be live at the office more than likely, but also we're gonna try to uh, record them and send them out or if, if people want to, if they can't make it that night. The first one, I believe is February 24th, it's a Thursday night. Um, the title of it, and I'm gonna be the presenter, is Raising Healthy Kids. And I'll tell you if there's one thing, if you're a parent, a grandparent, whatever, that I know is true is that we love our kids more than anything in the world, we would do anything for them. And I wanna help you to understand how to raise healthy kids, why you should do different things and approach things maybe in a different thing. Just give you things to think about and chew on in regards to our kids. So um, shout out me, shout out at me. Sorry, still a little winded, cold air out here. So take care, God bless, see you next time.